I'm Rob. Hi, I'm Sherry. And this is our cat, Lily. This is Cinder. We've got the truck. We've got the trailer. And we're ready for our RV travel class. Hi, I'm Rob Scribner from RV Travel Quest. As promised, we're going to do a chapter on a review of our RV or a fifth wheel we're using. We have a 2013 Montana 3625 RE, which is rear entertainment. And you'll see, uh, I'll show it in a little bit. We like the rear entertainment because from all sections of the RV, we can actually see the entertainment system. But I'm going to start with the back. So uh, you might hear a little motor going because we have the uh, generator. We're actually using our RV while I'm doing this uh, review. But I want to start with the back. And the reason being is this is uh, something I did not have in my old Montana back in 2006. But Montana puts a little insert in the back, um, trailer hitch, but it's a small section, a, a, a one inch insert so if you use a bicycle rack you'll have to get an adapter that goes from I think a one inch to a two inch uh, insert so I have an adapter back here but it made it really nice to put our bicycles on the back of the RV because in the old days you had to strap them to your ladder and you had bungee cords everywhere so after going to uh, Camping World we picked up a nice uh, bike holder, which only takes five minutes to load the bikes on or off. And then at Camping World, we also picked up uh, a cover for our bikes. And this has been the best setup I've ever had for our bicycles. So I'm very pleased with that. The other thing that's been really nice is every, um, uh, our hookups are in the back. Uh, the unit has been very easy to take care of um, and nothing really cumbersome back here. So the next thing I wanted to point out on the Montana is uh, you can have a generator added. So I intentionally have left my generator running so you can see how quiet it is. I think we have a 6,000 um, watt generator we have installed in this. It's uh, wonderful. <laughs> right now we're running in air conditioning. We're out in the, we're kind of boondocking in somebody's property and it's helping us keep it, keep it cool. The other thing you'll really like about the Montana is the controls. Everything is right here as far as water hookups, sewer cleanouts, um, winterizing, total shut off of all the batteries when you're storing the RV. Uh, very, very easy to use. The other thing we really like is lots of storage. This storage goes all the way through, very little wasted space, and uh, obviously you can tell we're not ready for full time yet but we have lots of room to do so. And on the propane tanks, there's always one on one side, one on the other, help keep everything balanced. So we're very pleased with it. Our slides are all hydraulic, and you can actually, using our control panel, control our slides independently. So if you're at a, car, a truck stop and you don't want to pull all your slides out, you just want to make the bedroom come out, not a problem. <laughs> uh, the other thing on the uh, Montana is uh, it has the hydraulic um, hydraulic jacks to help level the, the RV and they work very easily is we have a control panel right here. All we have to do is a touch of one button and it lifts the front or the back when we need it. Um, but what's really nice is it's got six hydraulics. So once you've lifted this off your truck and then change into the other mode, the system will remember the settings before you started doing your leveling. So once it's off the rig, one push of one button and the entire rig will absolutely level itself out. What I found nice about this is we haven't had to use locks under our tires yet. Um, I imagine if we got in a place that was really off a little bit, we want to give it some help. But the hydraulics will compensate for leveling the RV, even on an unlevel uh, RV space. 
so it's really nice. I don't have to put a lot of blocks or put blocks under the tires unless I get into an extreme situation, but it's been nice. The other thing about the Montana is they use the boom system of, for the septic, so that's been kind of, I, I've never had one of those before and I've been very happy with it. The, um, the hose is inside the boom. The boom will pivot to the front or the back and as long as I'm within the, uh, a short area of maybe 10 to 15 feet, I can make it to any septic hookup. It does have the abilities to put extensions on it, so I can, if I some reason have to go 20 or 30 feet out, I have that ability. So, one of the other items we really like about the uh, Montana fifth wheel is their new steps. If you notice, they've got four steps now which is a lot easier for folks like us who are getting a little older. And because uh, that first step can be quite a, quite a step depending on where your uh, space is. So I uh, congratulate Montana for a simple little thing like that, uh, putting that fourth step in. The other thing you'll notice in our storage is we're starting to use the little uh, close up boxes. Um, here, I'll show you. I'm not sure if you can see them from here. But we found in the Montana these uh, particular sealed boxes, which are really easy to work with. Um, they uh, close up well. They seem to be waterproof. And they st uh, I can put six across and six above that. So I can actually carry 12 of them. So that's a lot of room. So we're really happy with that. Uh, the other thing that we've... Uh, definitely liked about this unit is how easy it is this gets set up. Um, once again, I've talked about the retractable hydraulic uh, levelers. Oh my gosh, what a blessing. So uh, I think it's time to show you a little bit of the inside. So uh, welcome to the inside of our rig. Once again, I told you our Montana is a 3625 RE, which is rear entertainment. And one of the reasons we like the rear entertainment is uh, you can see the entertainment system from everywhere in the RV, uh, both from the couch across from us, the chair is here, and from behind you where the kitchen is, and I'll show that to you in a minute. Uh, this television retracts, it goes down when we travel. Uh, we got a nice little fireplace, we enjoy that. And it's very, very comfortable. And the other thing is we have a large dog. You met Cinder at Chocolate Lab. We have a very large li living room and it feels very spacious. And the animals are very comfortable in here. We uh, are going to remove this chair uh, when we go full time, which is only five months away. And this way we have a place to put our litter box for the kit cat and some miscellaneous, uh, maybe a shelf or something here. So it's just me and Sherry, so we really don't think we need both chairs. The other thing I think we'll do is our dining room table has four chairs and we really don't need that so we're going to remove two of the chairs out so it's just for me and Sherry. Once again I'll ga uh, gain us a little bit of space. So taking a look at the kitchen area of our RV on the 3625 RE, our kitchen has a little island but it goes against the wall. We tend to like that better for more room but what we really like is since we work in computers all the time, you notice in the back we have uh, room to put a, a laptop in the back by the television. We can use our dining room table and you'll find that this area here, this little uh, island here has been a really good workstation. It's a good way to stay out away and still have your dining room table. So we've been, been very pleased. The kitchen is roomy. Uh, we're able to have lots of counter space, lots of storage. We're very impressed with uh, everything that is in here for keeping spices, conventional oven, a uh, uh, regular oven, um, regular microwave, uh, convection oven, um, microwave, and uh, it suits us very well. The other thing we found is we use the little Keurigs. Um, we like the little single serve ones, very easy to use, cost effective. I don't have to keep a lot of coffee up here. So. so without boring you going through the entire RV, 
Uh, one of the things we made sure we had in our RV was a king-size bed. And not so much that means sure you need a king-size bed, but we have to share it with a chocolate lab. Uh, once again, a lot of times we use our dining room table for our, our computers. And so we usually have two computers running it <laughs> all the time. And that's what you get for having a blog, I guess. Um, we do have, once again, a generator in this RV. I, I uh, told you the wrong number before. It's a 5500 um, generator, not a 6000. And it uh, works really well. Uh, we have two air conditioners in this unit, front and back. Um, when we're on low amperage, we can only run one. Um, when we're on 50 amps, we can run two with no problem. The modifications we're going to make to this RV is we are going to put in a long-range uh, Wi-Fi Ranger system in here. So we can uh, con uh, connect to free Wi-Fi if it's anywhere near us. Uh, we are also going to be using Wilson uh, unit to boost our cell phones. We, uh, people ask what we use, we still use Sprint, which is not the best. But the reason we do that is we're grandfathered in from way back. So we have unlimited data and every everything. You don't want to give that up. Uh, the other modification, instead of putting in two 12-volt batteries, we're replacing the one 12-volt battery with two 6-volt ba ba batteries, which I've been told uh, several times that my two 6-volt batteries will outlast the two 12-volt batteries 6 to 1. So we, once again, are not going to be long-term broom dockers, but I want to be able to last uh, two to three days with the generator and having uh, a new solar panel system we're putting in which is a very simple one is we're going to put in an 80 amp solar panel on the top for kind of trickle charging our batteries remember I have a generator so I can always boost them that way <coughs> and in the back of the unit we're having not we're not having a very expensive inverter put in we're putting an inverter in the back so we can at least watch our large television, which is a 110 television uh, outlet. So we're going to be able to watch movies or watch our, uh, our television when we're just boondocking. And we can keep all of our normal units charged up like our uh, laptops and our phones and, uh, and tablets and all that stuff. So uh, if you have any questions about our RV, uh, good suggestions. Uh, we're pretty much common sense. Anything that we try to put in our rig, we want to be realistic for other people to uh, find an inexpensive way to make these modifications uh, without having to get a second mortgage on your home. So we hope that the suggestions that we've made and some of the units that we put in, and as we put them in, we'll uh, do videos on them. Um, we hope you, you'd be happy with that. Now, the Wi-Fi Ranger system, that is available through our site. And because you're uh, using RV Travel Buddy, if you go to our site under Product Reviews, you'll see the Wi-Fi Ranger system there. And if you use our special code that has been given to us, we can give you a 5% discount from Wi-Fi Ranger to buy your own system. So, that's the kind of things that we want to do for, with RV Travel Buddy. And there will be a lot more discounts and products come up in the future. So once again, if you have any questions about this unit, uh, suggestions, please uh, leave them, uh, send us emails, put it on our blog, or on our videos, just put it in the comment area and we'll try to uh, respond to that. So, that's our tour. Thank you for viewing our 2013 Montana 3625RE uh, fifth wheel and we'll uh, start showing you some other items and we have some a lot of very good information along with the other chapters of this mission series. Once again, thank you. I'm Rob Scribner. Talk to you later.